how narcissists feel when you move on. You move on, you heal. You regain your self-worth and self-respect. You're beginning to enjoy your life again because you're no longer confused. Because you're beginning to understand what you went through. Now that it's finally all over. You're happy with your life. You may have met someone else. And you may have been fine before you met the narcissist. But narcissists destroy everything they come into contact with. Everything that around diminishes in value over time. So when you were around them, you lost everything that made you who you are. You lost everything that made you valuable. Because they're like leeches. They feed off your effectiveness or productive effort. They take it away from you. But even though they were the ones who actively opposed you and they were hostile towards you. And after they've used up your resources and everything that made you so full of energy and life. And they have brought you down to a lower level. Now they want to attack you and put you down. For not achieving a certain standard or expectation. After they have damaged and injured you. They have destroyed everything of the person that you used to be. And now they're criticizing you and opposing you for it. For the result of their own actions. Because they were the cause of it. But now they want to treat you unfairly and unkindly. They want to kick you when you are down. They want to criticize you. After you've already suffered a setback. Because they want to damage you even more. Because now you're not able to give them what you were given to them before. You're not able to give them what they need. So they devalue and degrade you. They dismiss you as unimportant. They treat you like garbage. They ghost you. Because now they don't want you. They begin to see other people as being more valuable than you are. Because other people have more life and energy. And you may have given everything you had to them to sustain them. Until you were left broken and confused. Because when you're looking to them to uplift you in return. They're gone. They vanished. They're off entertaining someone else. They're training another person for the purpose of being their next victim. Because nothing you did really mattered to them. They didn't appreciate it. They took it for granted. Which is why they never gave you recognition or favorable notice of your acts and achievements. They never made you feel special. They never give you compliments or praise. Or anything like what you gave to them. Which is what kept them around in the first place. Which is why you will experience chronic stress from dealing with them. You will experience feelings of energy depletion and exhaustion. Which may include mental distance and feelings of negativity. Where you may feel like giving up in your life. As a result of trying to satisfy them and make them happy. It's just going to destroy you in the end. And once you've given everything you have, 
and you have nothing left to give. They're just going to see you as the least important person in their lives, as though they can do better than you. They can find someone better. Which is crazy. Because they can't be satisfied. Nothing anyone does is going to make them happy. They leave you for dead. Instead of trying to help you. Or maybe you leave. Once you've lost everything. And now you have to find a way to recover. You have to find a way to get back to being the person that you were before. And when you do that. You start to feel happy again. You start to realize everything that you went through with them. You figure them out. You know what you were dealing with. But they don't want to accept that they did anything wrong. They want to blame you. They want to say that you're the problem. But when you move on and you end up doing better without them. It's verification that they're not the good people that they portray themselves to be. They're not what they believe they are in their minds. They're the exact opposite. So when you move on. And you're happy and you're doing better without them. It causes a narcissistic injury. Because they're forced to reflect on the fact that they are weak. That they're not about anything. That they're full of shit. And they can't deal with it. Because they're very envious and jealous. So it eats away at them. Because in order for them to feel good. They had to make up a story of why you weren't good for them. But then you moved on and you did far better without them. It destroys their false narrative. It destroys everything that they were telling themselves in their minds to make them feel better about themselves. So when they see you consistently being happy and successful without them, it destroys the lies and stories that they have created to defend against the idea of them being the problem. And the more they have to witness your happiness and success, it just completely eats away at them. Because that is the last thing they want to see. They don't want to see you doing better than you were doing with them. It makes them mad. It makes them envious and jealous. It makes them hate you. Once you've moved on. Because now they're left to accept that they are the problem. But that is why they will hoover you. To prove that they are not the issue. To prove that you're not doing so good without them. Because everything has to be about them. So when they come back, it's just for them to prove to you that you're not really happy without them. And even then, they're just going to destroy the happiness and success that you managed to rebuild while they were gone.
thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on our website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.